Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who video. Today I'll be doing something slightly different. I'll be doing a first thoughts video. Recently I ordered this off Amazon. I saw, I've already seen bits of this and because hence why it was in my bad versus bad challenge. So I, because that didn't go or, or not that well to plan, no comments, so I decided to give my thoughts on the episode and um Maybe Doubt in the Bannerman, if I get around to watching that one, which I no doubt would at some point. So yes, this is Paradise Towers. There's an episode broadcast in 1987, Sylvester McCoy's second story, after a story that I think is really good, Time in the Run. I need to do a review on that at some point. Because I've been currently watching some of the Sylvester McCoy ones in chronological order, and I started off with Time in the Run. So I thought, I got, I thought, I got a bit of pocket money, I'll get this off Amazon. So, yes, yeah, so I'll just go over the DVD a second before I get into my thoughts on it. So, it is, this came out in 2011, so I think there's slightly different formats for different years, I'm not sure. But this one's got the purple BBC logo, it's got DVD written on it because it's a DVD. Then the classic series Doctor Who logo, which is actually only really John Pertwins and Paul McGann's, but hey-ho. And it's got the title of the episode, a very nice front cover that pretty much sums up the whole story. And, um... Sylvester McCoy years at the bottom. On the spine we've got Doctor Who at the seventh Doctor's sort of ident face thing and we've got Paradise Towers and at the BBC and Two Entertain logo at the bottom. At the back we've got some pictures from the episode. The one of the Doctor is, is actually is played by in the story there. And a little description on the episode. Coming down we have special features and some silly stuff about who should be watching the DVD. So let's get on to the story. I've only watched part one which is why it's first thoughts on part one. And judging by the title which I haven't done yet. So yeah, this this one is interesting. It's been given very bad reviews by people in the past. I don't... Th I don't think it's nowhere near as bad as people say it is. People have given it all sorts of hate as being too silly. It is very silly, but it's sort of silly in a not taking itself serious silly way, if that makes sense. It's it's one of the better ones from season 24, I think. Mind you, I'm trying to find who's good. But anyway, I think, I think the whole feel of it is very much like we're having a laugh... Oh, come on and join us, because you might have a bit of fun. Which is nice for Doctor Who, and I think it makes a very refreshing change from the very gloomy and depressing Colin Baker stories like Mind Warp and Revelation of the Daleks. So I'd much rather the story be like this than, like, all that. So, in that aspect, I really like it. The Kangs, if that's what they're called, they're a bit irritating, aren't they? They are, let's face it. The caretaker, the chief caretaker, he's hilarious, I like him. The old ladies, now, I think, similar to a Graham Williams one, there's a there's a little bit of literature going on there. I think it's supposed to be a bit like, um... Hansel and Gretel, in the sense of Mal gets lost, meet these old ladies, who I think, in part two, turn out to want to eat her if I remember rightly, but I haven't seen part two yet, so I'll get on to that tomorrow when I review that one. Yeah, I find the old ladies really funny, actually. I don't really get what people dislike about them. I admit they're a bit silly, but silly yet comical yet just great, really. Yeah, and the cleaning robots, haven't seen much of them yet, but they look like a pretty good villain, to be honest. Well, monster or robot or whatever it is they actually are. Kangs, I have said before, a slightly irritating thing, but I can see why they're in there, and I like the way one of them is called Bin Liner, I believe. So that about sums it up for this review. I hope you enjoyed this review, and Merry Christmas, because it's coming up to Christmas. So remember that. Also, just to say the Macro Terror has been announced.